oh my dear good friend i am happy to come on your way once again here on this platform wake up to hope this week we are looking at the church is the hope of a dying world the church can be defined as the body of christ or the community of believers which means the church is not a building the church is not a place the church is people who believe in jesus christ as their lord and personal savior coming together for fellowship and to pursue the heavenly assignment which brought jesus down here onto the world remember jesus said i am sending you as my father sent me so the church represent god here on is god's own institution on earth believers coming together so always remember that you are not the church we are the church because the church is not defined as an individual the church is defined as a collective believers coming together in one place to pursue the agenda of christ here on earth and we know this world is in total darkness and the world needs to be saved if you look at what is going on around the globe you know every day we hear something new evil keeps growing and the only hope the world has is the church why because the church is god's institution therefore that is where god can be found as much as god is everywhere god has not revealed himself everywhere but god is revealed in the church because that is what he has designed it to be so if the world wants to be saved then they must tend to the church but we need to be careful as a church because sometimes our ways and attitude and our behavior repels the world from coming to the church when a church is established in the community it means that church becomes the light in that community and our light must shine in that community and we become a salt amongst the people so we become a transformational agent that we transform community and make community a better place to live and to progress in life so we need to know that the purpose of god for the church is to save the world so the church must not sit just in our buildings as individuals we must play our 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 our, our roles to make sure that the aim for which god established the church is established so when you read romans chapter 14 verse 19 as paul said to the church in rome he says so then let us aim for harmony in the church and try to build each other up this is what we must be doing there should be harmony like putting many instruments together when they harmonize they produce sound but when they are disharmonized they produce noise so church let us what harmonize we have different gifts and different ministries but at the end of the day it brings us to one point to achieve the heavenly call and the heavenly assignment given to the church so i want to encourage you that be part of the church it's difficult to be a christian outside the church it's very difficult to fulfill god's purpose for your life outside the church because in the church your body your gift is made useful in the church you were able to know whether you are growing because jesus said when people believe we should bring them into the church to teach them to observe all the things he has taught us therefore find your place in the church and do what christ has called us to do and together let us fulfill the divine mandate so this week i want you to consider five things as you ponder over the assignment of the church and what the church represents in communities Number one, the church is the voice of God in a sinful, dark world. Two, the church fellowship is a necessity for every believer's growth. Three, the church is the salt and light of God to transform life. Four, the church is God's agency to save the communities. And five, the church is God's house for disciple making. May God bless you and keep you as you play your part as a member of the church let us work together remember we have a dying world to save we can't save a dying world if we are not properly positioned therefore let us pursue righteousness let's pursue holiness let's obey the voice of god and let the church be the church that jesus purposed it to be may the peace of god remain with you and your family and may the hand of god be upon you especially this week be the first week in the month of july May the blessings of God be your portion. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey.